you lie down with dogs, you're going to rise with fleas. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just the, it's some of what is on you is going to get on me. Some of what's on me is going to get on you. That's inevitably going to happen for the negative or for the positive. For the, everybody has a, a series or a set of values. And here's what happens when we get together with each other. Those values that you have and the values I have, they get on each other. <laughs> some of mine get on you and some of yours get on me. That's just the way it works. When you get together in a group of people, look, it's happening right now. The things that I have value are, are spilling over onto you. Now, you may wipe them off and be like, dude, I don't want any of that on me. Get that off of me. You may do that. That's fine. And I may do that too. But inevitably, that's the power of coming together. Some of me gets on you and some of you gets on me. We spill over on each other. And this is the way God has created Human beings, this is his design. It works for the positive and for the negative. It's really easy to understand this principle from the negative point of view. Proverbs chapter 22 says it like this. Don't be, don't be friend or don't make friends with angry people. Don't associate with hot-tempered people. Why? Why? Because you're going to learn. You're going to learn their ways. And then, and watch what the, then you're going to endanger your own soul. Like some of the way they operate, when they don't get their way, they, they flip people off. They cuss people out. They cross, they turn, you know, they, 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 you know, get in front of people on the road, <laughs> cut people off, honk at people. They punch people in the face. They send nasty emails. They send nasty, they, they, they post things, the terrible things online. And when you get around these folks, guess what? You're going to learn how to operate that way. And you're going to do those same things. And then you're going to pay the price. Don't make friends with angry people or people who have short fuses because you'll learn their ways and become like them. Listen, this, is, this principle has been around for thousands of years. The old proverb, I couldn't even figure out who said it, but you know it. If you lie down with fleas, you're, you know, dogs, you're going to rise up with fleas. I misquoted that. <laughs> if you lie down with dogs, you're going to rise with fleas. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just the, it's some of what is on you is going to get on me. Some of what's on me is going to get on you. That's inevitably going to happen for the negative or for the positive. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33, do not be misled. Do not be fooled. Bad company corrupts good character. And this is easy to tell our teenagers and we, you know, us parents, oh, you need to watch out who your friends are. But how about you, adult? How about you? Who are you running with? What's your company look like? Why did the first Christians get together? They got together because they understood that when you come together, there's something spiritual, there's something, something powerful that has some of the values on that person will get on you and some of what you will get on them. And they had this shared common faith and so they would get together and they would encourage each other and they would strengthen one another because that's how, that's how God made us for positive or negative. Be careful who is in your group of friends. Thank you.